Hello, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I just want to first of all thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day uh, or evening, whatever it might be for you as you're watching, uh, to spend a little bit of time with me. Um, because you know what, we all have 24 hours in the in the day, but guess what? Those 24 hours slip by so fast. So thank you so much. I'm ever so grateful for you joining. So my name is Angie and I am a relationship and empowerment coach for women. I'm also the creator of the Divorce Support Group for Women on Facebook, which is at the time of recording, very, very close to 22,000 members uh, going strong. Um, and I am also the co-founder of the Elevation Mentoring Academy. I am an author in several books. And I have also become licensed as a financial associate, um, being partnered with Experior Financial Group. Now, before we get started, I just want to say a couple of fun facts, uh, just so that you get to know me a little bit. Um, something that you may not know about me is that I love dry humor. I love the old dad jokes. So, for example, um, one of the jokes that um, I would probably bust a gut laughing at would be um, one of those taco jokes about, what's the matter? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so excuse me, hopefully that doesn't deter you from going forward on this presentation. But you know what? Life is way too serious a lot of the times. And sometimes if you don't laugh, you cry. So I prefer, I prefer to laugh. Okay. So, and I just want to share that these are my licenses, just so that you know that I have taken, I have taken the appropriate um, qualifications and have the credentials and this is showing that there's my life insurance license for Manitoba as well as my accident and sickness. Okay so my role today is to give you a lot of information, share with you a little bit about our incredible growth story uh, so that you can make an informed decision uh, as to whether you would like to get more information on how to take advantage of the concepts I'm going to share and strategies as well. Uh, you're going to see a lot of information as we go forward, okay? Um, you can also decide if you want to look into our uh, career opportunity as well, or perhaps you're looking at both, okay? So before we get started, though, I want to share a little bit about my story. Um, so if you're still here, the dry humor didn't scare you away. Thank you so much. Um, so, you know what? My story is probably similar to a lot of people's. However, perhaps it's not like your story, but that's okay. It was my journey. And perhaps you can even still relate to it a little bit as I go through it. So I got married at a young age. Um, I got married at 21, first child at 20, or sorry, I got married at 20, first child at 21. I did what I thought I was supposed to do, you know, get married, have children. Um, however, that dream lasted about 10 years. And uh, two more children into the mix as well. And I found that it just was, I didn't know who I was anymore. Um, I was either going to have to live with the fact that this was how my life was going to be, or I was going to have to make the decision to make a change, right? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, but expecting a different result. I made the decision to make a change. So I went through divorce and in the course of uh, less than eight years, um, from year 30 to 38, I not only went through divorce, which, as we know, can be detrimental to 
not only your emotional well-being, but to your financial well-being. I was never well off. I never had a ton of money. Um, I've usually had to struggle for most things in life. Um, I didn't grow up with a whole lot of uh, financial wealth concepts in uh, that were taught to me. But as I said, I went through divorce. But within those eight years, I also met another man. And we had a fabulous, fabulous six years together, which we did more than what most people do in an entire lifetime. It was fantastic. It wasn't perfect, but it was an incredible ride. However, in the span of a day and a half, my common law partner went from being bold and boisterous to being in the hospital fighting for his life. And I remember those words, Angie, I am really sick. And I'm like, yeah, 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 no worries. You know what? Well, just let the doctors do their thing. You know what? I was being the strong one, which is what I had come to be known as. As a, I still remember those words. They kind of run through my veins. He didn't make it. In fact, he passed away on the transfer from one hospital to the next. Now, I'm not telling you this as a sob story, but you know what? Some of you may relate to this, where life throws you a curveball and you're left having to deal with the fallout of that. Now, we had insurance. We had just bought a house, just bought a house, um, a few months, actually, of living in this house. And thankfully, my partner was, um, he dealt with insurances. So we had mortgage insurance. So I didn't have to deal with that. But still, I didn't have much as far as financial uh, literacy goes. And somebody had advised me that a potential for me was to get a line of credit on my home. Now, I don't necessarily uh, want to blame the financial person that suggested that. It was ultimately my, um, my responsibility. But giving me access to, at that time, I, I believe it was 75% of the home was now accessible to me. I had about $180,000 that I had, uh, I could have my hands on. It wasn't smart. At the end of this, I ended up with um, probably $200-ish thousand dollars of debt. At the time, I was making perhaps uh, in between thirty-five dollars and $40,000. That wasn't a wise choice for this girl. So we're going to fast forward a little bit. And a wonderful woman had, uh, we had met at a conference, um, kept in contact. Little did I know she was in the finance industry. We went out for coffee a few times. And she shared with me the opportunity of Xperia. And how implementing simple changes, living within my means, and not trying to outdo the Joneses and the Petersons and Millers and everybody else down the street. I can proudly say now that my debt is under or within a four-digit um, amount. That's huge. Going from two hundred thousand dollars to less than ten, it's it was a huge win, and I can tell you that I then started to see hope, because I don't know about you guys, but here in Canada, we have something called a Freedom Fifty Five, and that's for those lucky individuals that have the option of retiring at fifty five. I was not, I did not consider myself as a Freedom Fifty Five person. 
I didn't consider myself as a Freedom 65, not even Freedom 75. I had coined myself and had gotten comfortable in the Freedom Dead Club. Now, that sounds morbid, but that's exactly how I felt. I felt that there was no hope and there was no way I was going to ever get out of that abyss that I created for myself. Now, I see the light at the end of the tunnel, and I do not feel like that is a freight train coming to run me over. It's a, it is more than a glimmer of hope. And I am extremely thankful that somebody had the courage to share with me these wealth concepts. So who are we and who is Xperia? Well, we are a 100% Canadian-born company in our, um, well, when was, it was, we are going on um, well over six years, eight years, I think it could be even 11 years now. And it was founded by two homegrown Canadian a uh, Canadian couple, Jamie and Leanne Prickett, a husband and wife team that had spent a combined 16 years in the insurance industry in a recruiting focused organization. They believed that there was something better. Have you ever had that feeling that there's just something more out there for you? That's what keeps me going every single day. I was meant for more. So they are based out of Guelph, Ontario, and they have grown to be two incredibly um, poignant leaders in the financial industry. And they have created one of, the, one of Canada's fastest growing financial service companies across Canada and now into the States. So we're an MGA, and what the heck does that mean? It means a managing general agency. That means that we can contract directly with many of the largest product partner companies in the industry so that our advisors can supply the many products and services to families that we serve. We have a great ownership program that is attracting many advisors to our company as well. Ownership is another great way to create wealth. And we have three areas of ownership, which is attracting great advisors to Xperia. We are on a rapid growth campaign right now, and thus are looking to open up hundreds of offices in Canada and the USA. So it is a very exciting time to be part of Xperia. There are two head offices. Um, one is in Canada, in Guelph, Ontario, and the other is in the USA, in Buffalo, New York. So this allows our advisors to not only grow their business in Canada, but also in the USA. Now, at the time of recording this, there is an amazing promotion going on in the USA. So if this interests you, make sure to reach out to me because I'd love to share some of those options with you. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of amazing opportunities within Canada as well. So um, if you're interested and you're in Canada, hit me up because I'd love to share with you too. Now, what if you are outside the Canada and US borders? Don't worry. We are soon going to have you covered as well. Basically, you know that saying, build it and they will come. Let me know where you're from and we will do our best to see how we can help you too. So with the fact that we're, we're based in Canada and we have a U.S. head office, you have the opportunity to grow in two different countries. Now, I don't know about you, but the U.S. dollar is typically worth more than the Canadian one. I know, boo-hoo for us Canadians, but 
if you have the chance to earn income in US dollars, who's excited about that? Everyone, right? So with being one of the fastest growing MGAs, it's a very exciting time as we're going growing right across both of these large countries. This means that we can help families locally and in other provinces and states. So not only can we help family members locally, but in other provinces and states to grow our business outside of your local reach. For anyone with a business mind, this is a powerful, powerful thing. As you can be growing business across the country, well, across your city, across the country, and across borders. With technology now, this has become even more possible. And how exciting is that? The possibilities really are endless. So our mission statement is to build financial foundations for families to empower them today and leave a legacy for tomorrow. You don't have to be on freedom dead like I was. Let's take care of your responsibility, be accountable, and help leave a better strategy and a better legacy for your loved ones. So here's just a little bit of a, a look as to where all of our offices are all across all across Canada. And by the end of 2022, we plan to be in every single state. I think there might be one or two states that we are not in at the moment um, at the time of recording. Not for long. <laughs> so how big is our need? Now that you know a little bit more about the company, let's talk about what we do to help Canadian families. This is my favorite part. I am all about the impact. I love to see that transformation of somebody that feels like their planet, their outcome is hopeless to seeing that sparkle come back into their eyes. I had a client and this was truly the case where they felt like there was no hope for them. And by the time that we finished speaking with her, she not only had hope, but she had a bounce in her step. So when you think about having a successful career or business, how important it, would it be to you to have a product or service that everyone needs? Right? So I want to show you a very sobering stat. Now, according to the Smart Money Survey, Canadians at age 65, that's what this pie chart is all about. 54% are still going to be dependent on either government or family or um, some form of uh, dependency other than themselves. 36% are still going to be working at 65 and not out of wanting to. It's going to be because they have no choice because they can't afford to not go to work. 5% unfortunately are going to be deceased. 4% are going to be okay with 1 million at their retirement. And the tiny little 1% it's going to be classified as wealthy with around the $5 million mark. So why, why do 90% of people fail when it comes to their finances? Well, we believe that it is because people don't, didn't grow up with a financial education. They do not teach this stuff in school at least not for the most part. Um, they teach you math and they teach you um, calculus. They teach algebra. They teach you accounting. 
but not lifestyle, um, financial education. Secondly, they don't have a financial game plan. There's no strategy. There's a lot of drifting. It's like, okay, well, you know what? I don't have to worry about down the road. I just need to worry about right this minute. And lastly, we believe that without a financial coach, that's part of the reason for failure. The most wealthy people often have a coach. You look at Michael Jordan. You look at um, some of the, even the highest paid people. They're there because they have a coach. Because when you're objective, you can look at it without the emotional attachment. So how many people do you think could use our financial services? Here's another sobering stat. We're going to get these ones out of the way, get the bad news out of the way first, and then move into some positivity. Now, this stat is a little bit on the older side because it came from uh, 2017. Um, credit card debt in Canada at a $94.2 billion level. And that's going to um, massive companies like Visa, MasterCard, Hudson Bay, you know, your um, retail store credit cards, right? 65% of Canadians would struggle within a month of either the breadwinner passing away or no longer being in the picture. So you can look at this as death, divorce, um, breakup, a lot of common law situations happening with this issue. Now, the stat on the bottom is about Canadian household savings. Now, you can look at 1982, where it's 19.5%. Now, 2017 is at 4.3. What do you think is that now? going through a couple of years of pandemic and still um, going through the residuals. My bet would be that percentage of people saving is a lot lower yet. So again, why are thousands of financial companies not stepping up to the plate? You know, you, you go down the street and you see bank after bank after bank financial institution upon financial institution. You look at several different um, financial companies that are all around you. So with all of those financial companies and institutions, why are people still failing? Well, a lot of the times it's because those advisors, while doing what they were taught, they're based on commission. And they are based on solely selling you a service. Here at Experior, our famous saying is people over profits. We believe in educating a client and looking after their best needs. So it may take us longer to get you something that's going to be the absolute best for you. But we believe that that's worth it. We want to look at your entire uh, circumstances and give you a holistic approach that's going to be best in every area of your life. So again, we believe that the reason people are still failing, because when you come down to it, people typically don't plan to fail. They just fail to plan. So without education, without a plan and with no coach, the prospect or the outcome is not bound to be one of a bright, shiny substance. So a lot of people have heard of your sin, your pin. Uh, you ha likely have your those memorized. Um, oftentimes, people have their bank accounts memorized. They've got their credit cards memorized. Now, with all of these numbers, who's heard of your FIN? We're not talking about 
fish and we're not talking about sharks here. Um, your fin is your financial independence number. What number is that for you? What number are you going to feel that you are free from your financial burdens and responsibilities? So most important is this fin number. This number is what you should know even before your SIN, your PIN, your bank accounts, etc. Because if you want to actually retire with enough money, this is the number you're going to want to know. Anyone in the room? Again, do you know your do you know your FIN? I'm guessing not very many people put up their hand. So if this number is so critical to somebody becoming financially wealthy, why doesn't a financial institution teach this? Well, it could be because um, they'll make more money off of you being in debt. Look at that percentage on your credit card. Most um, average credit cards are about 19%. Well, where do you think that 19% goes? Well, that goes to that company, right? So they're making money by you being in debt up to your eyeballs. Now, not only do they profit, but you make a late payment or you carry that balance, chances are there's going to be fees on top of that. These credit cards and loans and uh, debts don't be fooled. They are not there for your benefit. This is solely there for them. And when I say them, I mean the financial institutions and, and the debt holders, um, those companies, it's for their benefit and their benefit alone. Okay, so on the way to financial freedom, there are many things to consider. A proper financial plan incorporates your FIN number and guides you through the road to financial freedom. Isn't it time that we figure out your FIN number? If you don't know your FIN, make sure to get in touch with your financial advisor so that you can know that sooner than later. If you don't have a financial advisor already, please feel free to connect with me and I would be more than happy to share this information with you. Here's another concept that financial institutions, schools, and uh, credit companies are not passing out. And this is the rule of 72. This is a very powerful slide as it demonstrates what Albert Einstein called the rule of 72, the power of compound interest. In fact, it's been also named the eighth wonder of the world. By dividing the rate of return into 72, this will determine the time it will take for your money to double. Yes, I said double. So if we look at these three people here, they all have $100. They're all at the age of 35. One person has 2%, one has 4 and one has 8 They're all going to retire at 65 as you can see, there is quite a difference in ending balance. Which one would you want to be? I know where I would like to be. So for, okay, so for this slide, if we look at this, most people are not prepared for retirement. In fact, 70 4% of the population will be retiring with less than $100,000 in retirement. Now, remember our slide with the pie? Often we have been known to say that to retire comfortably, you would need one to two million dollars. I'm not sure 
on which level you find yourself in today. So how do we want to do this? We want to get your money working harder for you. Just another example here that with 20, 000, sorry, yeah, with, yes, with $20,000 invested, and then you invest $200 every month for 30 years. You take a, a look at the bottom arrow with 2% growth. Keep in mind, there's inflation here as well. So the current rate of inflation here in Canada is about double that, maybe even more. So in fact, when your money is at 134,000, it's actually less than that because it's not having the same buying power. However, you move up to the top arrow and at 8%, your money after 30 years is worth very close to $500,000, a difference of $350,000. That is huge. That number at almost 500,000, if you have a couple that are both doing this very same thing, you're, you're almost at your million dollars that you need to retire as a comfortable level. So very interesting facts going forward that had you known this, say 20 years ago, just look at where you'd be now. Now, the saying is the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The next best time is right now. So even though we can't change the past, we can put things into place right here and now to guide you to a better future. So if we think of this, just think of the banks and the financial institutions and the credit card companies. If they're gaining that much interest, how well and how much money do you think they're coming away from? So, okay, let's take a look at this um, financial house. That's what we call this is your financial house. So um, this represents, as I said, your financial house and not now like any home, what's the first thing that you do when building a house? You have to dig a hole and put in a foundation, right? So why do they build the foundation out of concrete versus wood? Well, that's because it's stronger, right? Um, and just like the found cement foundation is to a house, the foundation of a strong financial house is protecting the most valuable asset you have. And that is you and your ability to earn income, which pays for that home. The expenses and their, uh, and their investment plan. If someone passes away and gets sick or injured and is unable to work, what happens to their entire financial house? Well, it would collapse. Having the right protection in place is the first step. And if you do it right, you may be able to have an estate plan built in. Taking care of financial expenses and leaving something for the kids or grandkids. So if someone has a mortgage or a home equity line of credit, we make sure they have the proper protection for that debt, which means showing them an alternative to mortgage insurance, which is underwritten once you are dead and may run the risk of not paying out. That, with that said, that's a mortgage insurance from the bank or your typical financial institution. So the rest of the areas are where you can invest to build and protect your wealth. From RSPs to open um, TFSAs and permanent insurance. Each area has their own advantages. And when you meet with your advisors, they will go through these in detail. But the biggest separator 
is how they're all taxed. If you're going to build wealth for retirement, it's not only important to build wealth, but to be tax efficient. So let me ask you a simple question. When you go to retire, would it make sense to have all your wealth in RSPs that are 100% taxed on the way out or in a no or low tax area on the right? Well, the no tax area, right? So what we do is gather families information and come back with recommendations on how to protect To protect the home with the right foundation and how to plan so that along the way and in retirement, it's less taxing. Make sense? Once you learn how to put your own financial house together the right way, it is life changing. So now you know why we are attracting so many people to our company and our business. Is this a good business to be in? What do you think? So when we come to our process, what we do is we sit down with families or individuals and we look out at what their concerns are. We then gather up all the relevant financial information. This is called an EFA or an expert financial analysis. It ties in all the things we talked about um, in the left of the financial house and produces that all important financial independence number, your FIN number, on a report we review together. By incorporating everything into one holistic plan, we usually save families a lot of time running around to two, three, or four different places to deal with those salespeople, many of whom they never see again, or to sell them something whether they need it or not. So what's the chance of those different people um, being in sync with each other? Not real likely, right? It's like building a house without a blueprint. Could you imagine when it's all finished, um, on the outside, it looks amazing. You walk up, ring the doorbell, and the toilet flushes. Not exactly the response you're looking for, right? Having a coordinated holistic plan is what most people are wanting. And that is one of Xperia's strengths. Families that sit with us love getting their EFA done and reviewing it annually. Isn't it time to get yours done? If you feel you have a good one, it never hurts to get a second opinion. How many families out there need this? Again, how big is the market for what we do? So when you earn an income from your job or your work today, it gets divided up into living expenses, taxes, and debt. And for most people, there is only a small sliver of savings, if any. Do you remember from our previous page, savings have gone from 20% down to less than 3% today? So when we gather all that information using the EFA process, we look for ways to free up cash flow. One way is to look for ways to save taxes. Another is to free up debt. And then we also look for ways that you can save on your living expenses. With those restructuring methods, we take those amounts and we look at a better way to utilize them. That can go into a, a solution that's going to work harder for you. One area I'm very proud of as an advisor with Xperia is that we have a complete line of products and solutions we offer to our clients. Whether it's insurance protection, investments for, for retirement, children's education, mortgage, debt solutions, home auto referrals and other areas, we are able to fully help the family. This is so important because with today's busy lifestyles, most families don't have time to see four different people that are all working for themselves and not necessarily on a coordinated financial plan built specifically for the client. 
This process saves our client tons of time and helps them get everything under one umbrella. Powerful, right? So let's look at um, the various product partners that we have. This one is specific to Canada. So once we have the plan put together as a broker, we're able to shop the market. These are some of the many products, product partners who supply Xperia with top products for our clients. Which names do you recognize? We use top companies in the industry for our clients. So there are three important parts to this slide. First, with more options to choose from, our licensed associates can offer the right products and services for clients instead of some companies that believe one size fits all because that's all they sell and that's what the client gets. This can also mean lower pricing that saves them money, which can free up more cash flow. Powerful, right? Secondly, this page lends huge credibility to the strength and size of Xperia. When you look at some of the brand names before they sign a contract to allow an MGA like ours to represent the products, they undergo an intense scrutiny of the company's finances, business processes, compliance, his compliance history, and ownership. So having contracts in place with Empire, Life, Foresters, IA, Manulife, Desjardins, to name a few, is tremendous as some of these companies don't give out MGA contracts very often. So that was a big factor for me coming to Xperia. And a third reason this slide is powerful is for those in our business. It helps us attract licensed advisors looking for a better opportunity for them and their families. And due to our large number of product partner contracts, some advisors want to keep selling their favorite companies while coming here for our ownership and agency program. Before I ask you to switch your thinking over to the business side, based on the last pages, how many people out there do you think need an expert financial analysis? How big is the market for what we do? Huge, right? Well, that's why we're attracting new and licensed people to our firm. Now, I know this next part may not be for some of you, but have you ever thought to yourself, am I worth more than I'm being paid? If I have the skills to help more people, could I earn more income for me and my family? If so many people are struggling, wouldn't it make sense to look at different ways or different a different industry or a way to bring more income into our household. These are many of the reasons why we are attracting so many good people to Xperia. Good people looking for a better opportunity. So with an open mind, let's take a look at this industry that has been life-changing for so many of us. So this is the biggest question. Can I make money? So you've been out doing training appointments with your trainer. And once you obtain your provincial license, you are called a financial associate. No matter what province, you must pass the provincial exam and be licensed if you want to do business in this industry. It's no different than a realtor or a mortgage broker. We then help you get set up with the product partner companies so you can represent their products and services. At this point, you are still training hands-on and the more training appointments you do when you get started, the more chances you have to help those who need what we do. An example of helping a smaller family with a $100 a month protection plan and 25,000 of investments that we get paid commissions on The size of the program would pay approximately $1,500. So generally with the help of your trainer, this would take about 10 hours of time, which means that your hourly pay pretty decent. And if you look at the slide here, 
generally speaking, a part-time person would be earning roughly $24,000, and that's a year. However, that's an average. You can make more, you can make less. Full-time, an average is around $100,000. Again, you can make more or you can make less. It depends on what you're willing to put in to your business. So there's a lot, what do you think? Is there a lot of jobs that would pay you or the average person $150 an hour? Not many that I know of. And I'm not sure if I said it before, but it is one of the highest paid industries um, with a low barrier of entry. Now, let's say that you were able to help a couple families. What would $3,000 do to your household? By helping others, you can help yourself. So if you would gain two to $3,000 extra a month, imagine paying off your debt. It could be a home payment. It could start a significant child education plan. Just begin by thinking, what could that do for you? So when it comes to why people decide to come on board with Xperia, everyone is different. And that is what make Ex makes Xperia special. Some people don't like the current job. And with our part-time program, they can slowly leverage themselves out of it. Of the part-time income, while the part-time income is appealing, others dream of owning their own business and having more control of their time and income. They want, some people want education, while others love making a difference for others. I'm not sure which one might fit you, but we find most people have a few that resonate with them, and that's why they get started with Xperia. Choices, we all have them, right? Life is full of them. And by not making a choice, that is a choice in and of itself. Option one, this one is for those who want to see how these concepts and strategies could make a difference in their own situation. With that, we would do a no cost and no obligation review of a current financial situation, gather information so that we can create your own EFA, your own finan expert of financial analysis. It's amazing how many times I've heard people say, they're doing good or we're fine, but that's before learning all the concepts and strategies. I encourage everyone to get an EFA done. For some of you, it may be a second opinion, and that never hurts. Option two is for those who see the value in option one, but are also serious about earning more income. The best part is that you can start part-time, so you can put this to the test. It's like training wheels. Through our training program, you will gain an in-depth financial knowledge. And what is that worth to you? Once licensed, you can earn, you can start earning additional income through your personal efforts. And if you choose to, start growing a business income with our agency program to match your goals and dreams. Isn't it time you looked at something different? When I look at our business, there really is nothing to lose. And there's everything to gain. Now, option three is where you take advantage of both sides of the business. You start moving from dreaming to doing. So when you look at these three options, where do you see yourself? What most interests you? If any of these options fit where you're at, let's book a call. Let's connect. Take time to pause on this slide because just simply 
go to the booking calendar, which is calendly.com forward slash shell number two shine slash 15 minutes. We don't need to go and have, it doesn't need to take a ton of time, but we want to get that process started. Or simply email me at info at angiesinclair.ca. What are you waiting for?